Hey guys, how are you? Wow, that was very sing-songy with my awful singing voice. How's it going? I'm Shannon. We're here today with a Timeless Aquarius reading. We're going to be using the Beautiful Creatures Tarot. I was going to pull the box out, but it's going to knock everything over. All right, starting out with the Fool. What a good place to start, my friends. We do have the moon on the bottom of the deck, so there could be something subconsciously that we're not seeing yet, but we're definitely stepping into some type of a new, new chapter here, guys. Let's see what's in the recent past for you, Aquarius. We have the Two of Swords and the Four of Swords coming out in the recent past. So this is about us needing to make a decision, us pausing before we make said decision, and then us choosing to step into this new path. And we'll clarify, let's try to get some answers on what this is. We got the moon down there again. So you may have made a decision to step onto a new path before all of the information was explicitly spelt out for you, um, but you decided to move forward with this anyway. Let's see what's in the near future, please. Wow, three cards, okay. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. We've got the Devil and the Nine of Wands. <sighs> okay, so in the near future, so we've made a decision after sitting with this, deciding, to step into this new chapter. We step into this new chapter, we have the Ace of Pentacles, so we have this opportunity, right? We have an opportunity here, but tied to this opportunity is a need for resilience because we have this devil energy connected with the Ace. So whatever this opportunity is for you, there is this idea of protecting ourselves as we move through this and we'll clarify the devil we'll see what that's about but it's like you know we've stepped onto this path you're on this path now you're walking through this new chapter we need to be resilient and we need to hold firm to what our values are yeah show me what this crowning please Crowning, we have the Knight of Cups coming out. So you're trying to move through this with empathy, with compassion, with understanding. And unfortunately, I mean, I hate to say it, but oftentimes when we're moving through life or moving through situations with good intentions in our heart, that's when this devil energy kind of comes out. Now, the important thing to note is it can't touch you if that's the type of energy that you're in. If you're in a high vibrational state, the devil's not going to be able to get to you. This is why that type of energy preys on people who are weak. I shouldn't say weak. In a weaker state than they typically are. People who are really going through a hard period of time. So this is also saying not only is it going to be important to walk through this scenario with resilience, but to do so with compassion and with empathy. Because then you can't be touched. Evil cannot get to us when we're in a high vibrational state. Let's see what's in the foundation of this whole scenario. What is this about? The Eight of Wands. Interesting. The Queen of Cups. So this could have been drive to move forward into something. This could have also been somebody coming through to talk to you about whatever this scenario is. Show me this Eight of Wands. I don't need three, please. <laughs> Show me the Eight of Wands. Can we just get one? Thank you. Okay, yeah, the Five of Swords and the Wheel. It 
in the foundation of this situation, guys, whatever this new chapter is for you, I feel like you're stepping into this new chapter because we were stuck in a pattern previously where there was a lot of back and forth going on, where there was either a person or people that were trying to drag us down with them and we've escaped that cycle by making whatever this decision was after we went in inside and sat with it and you know really thought this through and decided to step out into this new path we've kind of shaken this person off or this situation off but now that you have this new opportunity I feel like they're coming back through again they're like, I see them, what they have, I want it. And now they're coming through trying to get it again. But I don't feel like they're going to be successful. I feel like you guys see this. You guys, yeah. you guys are really checking in with your, with your guides. You're checking in with spirit. You are making sure that you are not allowing this person drag you down vibrationally because I feel like you know that if that happens this person is going to be able to get in and really start affecting you in a in a not so great way all right let's see what the next step is for Aquarius we have temperance and the ace of swords so the truth will come the truth is coming out whether this other person or situation or whatever it is likes it or not the truth will always be uncovered in the end right okay next step for Aquarius please we've got the nine of swords coming out with the nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck this is you guys reaching some type of uh, you're almost to a completion point here with whatever this is you're no longer laying down just allowing this person to attack you to you're not taking it lying down anymore. Now you're standing up, you're fighting for yourself because you understand what's going on. You see through their their facade. Yeah. Recent past, we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, can we get one, please? <laughs> I'll keep these out. We have Death, the Knight of Cups, and the Lovers come flying out of the deck. So like I said, we're nearly at a major completion point here. There's this idea of having to work with this person though for some reason. For some of you, this could be like um, the other parent to your child. This could be a family member. This could be a boss of some type. But you're approaching this in a really loving way and I get the feeling that it's really getting under this other person's skin because they don't want to see you being balanced they don't want to see they want to get you to a point where you lash out and you end up kind of making a fool of yourself and you're just not allowing for that crowning crowning we have the three of wands in the foundation we have the six of pentacles bottom of the deck we have the five of wands so again I get the feeling that you know absolutely what this person is up to because you are actually actively putting plans into motion to release whatever this issue is you're not here for it anymore you're not dealing with it however you're approaching it from a standpoint of how would I want to be treated? Because people can be really messed up. That doesn't necessarily mean that we can, you know, we should or need to be hateful towards them. And I get the feeling that this person, like you're not doing this to be underhanded either. You're doing this because again, this is how you would want to be treated. You see this person for for maybe, maybe for the reasons why they are the way that they are. And they're just trying to poke at you and you're not allowing for it. Oh 
one more. Thank you. Okay, so advice. We've got the Three of Cups, we've got the Hanged Man, we've got the Ace of Wands in reverse, and the Five of Swords. The Magician on the bottom of the deck. So you guys have all the tools that you need to move through this scenario. You guys are tuning in to your spirit guides or they're around you. This could also be friends in the physical realm with the Three of Cups. But spirits guiding you to, to take pause, to take take a break before you decide to do take any action on things okay because if we don't pause to like really consider our options and it looks like you're doing just that with the three of wands here but if we don't take a pause and think about you know we're we're liable to lash out because the way that these people are treating us doesn't feel good but this is exactly where they want to see you. They want to see you going back and forth. But you're not going to allow for it. You're going to allow this ending to come, this major ending, with the death card here. And you're walking through it with your head held high. Just make sure before you put any plans into action, Aquarius, that you're absolutely tuning in to your guides, that you're tuning into spirit, that you're tapping into your intuition, and that you're really making a decision based off of what is going to be the best thing for everyone, not just for yourself, okay? And in that scenario, that devil energy that's trying to come through isn't going to be able to touch you because you're in a high vibrational state. All right, friends, that's where we're going to leave it at today. Thank you guys so much for stopping through. I love you all so much. I appreciate you coming to hang out with me on this Sunday or whenever you're viewing this. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will talk to you again soon.